What's happening guys and welcome back to the channel. First things first, make sure you smash a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. And obviously the transfer window is well underway now and one of the busier clubs have been Arsenal. We've already got three names through the door and have been linked with various others. And joining me to today to discuss the transfer dealings at Arsenal so far is friend of the channel and Arsenal season ticket holder Luke Webb. Webby, thanks for joining me today, mate. Um, first things first, um, let's start with the incomings that have been confirmed. Um, a massive outlay, really, um, for Ben White of Brighton, £50 million. Um, centre-half position for Arsenal, obviously, has needed to be strengthened. The likes of David Luiz have left, and last season, the defence really wasn't that great. Um, what, what's, what's your reaction and kind of the reaction from the Arsenal fan base to Ben White coming in? Yeah, I mean, as you said, I think Ben White's all but done. I think people on social media saw that he was cutting his holiday short to return to the country to get, get the boxes ticked and, and the signings done. I mean, the reaction from Arsenal fans has been pretty positive towards it. It's a, obviously an English player, centre-back, got into the England squad. There's been quite a lot of hype around him. Had a couple of good seasons with Leeds and Brighton. Um versatile so he can play centre half he can also play right back um, I think he'll slot straight into the team and take David Luiz's position um, so yeah the reaction's been positive obviously 50 mil is, is a lot of play a lot of money for a player that's had one one season in the Premier League really but saying that he's English he's an England international and that's pretty much the price you pay for for uh, English players these days. So, um, yeah, pretty good reaction. Hopefully he'll strengthen us and, and hopefully he'll hit the ground running when the league season starts. And you would expect him and Gabriel to be first choice centre-back pairing next season? There's obviously no, there's no chance that Ben White's not going to play, is there? Yeah, I mean, we've had... Louise was was kind of our number one. So with him going, you'd, you'd assume Ben White, you can't sign him for 50 mil and not pick him. I'd have thought, obviously, you've got Rob Holding there as well, who's been pretty popular under Arteta. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what matchup he, he uses. But obviously, without Europe, there's going to be a lot less opportunity for rotation. You're going to hope that we get a settled centre-back pairing. And I would look at the squad, I'd have thought Ben White and Gabriel would be the, the two if we play a four at the back um, to start the season. Yeah, no, definitely. And obviously another two players have come in. I mean, slightly unknown, sort of under the radar. Um, in central midfield, Laconga, and obviously the young fullback Tavares that's come in from Benfica. Um, in, in relation to those signings, are those very much ones for the future, do you reckon? Yeah, I mean, Tavares from Benfica, we, we've needed a left back um, for a while. We let Kalasnach go on loan in uh, last, the winter window last year. Um, in January, and we suffered when Tierney got injured. Um, we had to have players fill in, it, it kind of cost us in a number of games. So it's really good to get a left back in that will hopefully push Tierney and challenge him. Nice to sign a good profile young player, and he, he scored in our pre season friendly um, last week. So that's a positive signing. And, and the one that I think is really exciting that Arsenal, Arsenal fans seem to be getting behind is, is Albert Sambi Laconga, like you said, from Anderlecht, who's a young player, um, he's worked a lot with Vincent Company and, and Thierry Henry in the Belgium setup, and they've both, I think, been in touch with Arteta and, and kind of given the green light and said he's, said he's, said he's worth signing. He's, I think he's naturally number six, so your traditional kind of holding midfield player, but can play a bit more box-to-box. -box. I think, personally, we'll see him play a lot more than perhaps people expect. I think with Xhaka on the way to Roma, I think Lukonga will play perhaps alongside party, as I said, a lot more than just coming into the squad. I think he might might play a big part this season. But um yeah, two young signings don't know much really. Personally I haven't I haven't watched either of them play before, but um yeah, spent hours on YouTube since we signed them and looked decent. So And just touching on that point, do you reckon now the signing off Lakonga, do you reckon that's gonna give the green light for Xhaka to complete his move to Roma? Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's just a formality now. So I think it's around 25-odd mil, I think, is what I saw. But all the kind of fairly respected Arsenal sources seem to seem to be saying that's happening. I think one of the someone high up at Rome, I don't know if it was the president or something, um, 
kind of leaked it a couple more last week. Um, so yeah, Xhaka to Roma, I think, is imminent. Yeah, and, and obviously that's the only incoming so far. There's obviously a few more positions that Arsenal will be looking to strengthen. I'm just, just going to run through a few names that Arsenal have been linked with. Um, one that's sort of fairly recently come out of the woodwork, um, obviously a player that I'm familiar with, Tammy Abraham from Chelsea. Um, obviously looks to be surplus to requirements at Stamford Bridge for the coming season. Um, not in Thomas Tuchel's plans at all. Arsenal looking, maybe are looking for a centre forward. Obviously, Aubameyang's not getting any younger. He's obviously not hit his form since he signed that new deal. And with Nketiah, not really good enough. And question marks over Lacazette's future. Um, what are your thoughts on a loan with obligation to buy for £40 million next summer on Tammy Abraham? Personally, I, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I mean, I think... Our track record buy from Chelsea has been obviously terrible with with uh, Willian recently and Czech didn't really work out that well. Luis was, was okay and, and brought a lot more. But, um, but I think it's probably unfair to judge Abraham just on that. But personally, I think I think Lacazette's still got a lot to offer, Arsenal. He, he done well last season. His stats were good. Um, he's physical. He's probably a similar kind of profile player to Abraham, I guess. In, in the sense they're a bit more physical. Um, so I'd like to see us extend Lacazette personally and, and probably not, especially 40 mil on Abraham. Um, and also Abraham, I mean, you probably know a lot more, but he's had his fitness issue, issues as well. I mean, a fully fit Abraham with a running team, as he's shown for Chelsea, can be, can be very dangerous in the Premier League. Um, personally, I think there's better options elsewhere. Um, but... I guess we'll see, and and I'd imagine that another one off the Chelsea, uh, Chelsea um, kind of outgoing line will come to Arsenal. And just a quick one: how how likely do you reckon it is that this will happen? Do you do you expect it to happen, or do you think it's kind of not not really going to happen? Well, it's all kind of broken last forty eight hours. I haven't seen anything re- like really solid from any of the any of the top Arsenal sources. I think it all depends what happens with our internally. If, if Nketiah goes and then Lacazette goes, then then perhaps we're going to be in for a striker because uh, uh, Arteta likes to play Martinelli off the left. He likes to play Aubameyang off the left quite a lot. Um, we have just extended the contract of Foller and Balogun, who's uh, a young striker that played in the Europa League for us, and, and he's done really well. So I'd be surprised if we go for it. I'd be surprised because of like the likes of Balogun, you're probably just as well giving him a his, him a shot. He did really well with the first team. So personally, I don't think it will happen, but you never know. It, it's broken quite quickly and, and these things move fast. Arsenal have you got a very good working relationship with Chelsea with all the deals that have been done over the years. So. And and another one that's another player who's an exciting player um, established in the Premier League. Um, these reports have been around doing the rounds for a little bit longer. And that's James Madison of Leicester City. Now, when I first saw this, I mean, I think I might have seen it a month or so ago, I was very surprised to see that A, Arsenal were linked with him and B, would Madison actually really leave and go to Arsenal? Um, what's, what are the thoughts of the Arsenal fans around the sort of the James Madison rumours and how likely do you think a deal is for him to play to be playing at the Emirates next year? I mean... It would be amazing if we landed Madison. He's a he's a top top Premier League player. Um, I don't think anyone's got any doubts about his ability. He's been awesome for Leicester, and and he probably gets in most teams in the league. Um, so if he if he came to the Arsenal, it would be it would be awesome for us. Well, I think obviously we had Odegaard last year. It looks like Odegaard is probably going to stay at Madrid. I I don't see us getting Odegaard back. I think he's going to be part of those plans. And it's very rare that, uh, that a big club, obviously Arsenal struggled in recent years, but still a big club in terms of profile. It's rare you go through a transfer window, especially the summer, without a marquee attacking signing, I guess, midfield or attack. We've had the two young guys. Looks like Ben White is a defender. Perhaps Madison could be that marquee signing. There's been some fairly solid links, I guess. Um, sacrificing European football, he'd be. Um, if he came to Arsenal, but I'd imagine he'd probably get a wage increase and, and you'd probably be looking at around 50, 60 million, I'd have thought. Um, it'd be amazing if we could sign him. The likelihood of it at this stage, I don't know. Um, but fingers crossed. Uh, and another one uh, in, in a similar kind of position who Arsenal are continuously linked with 
is a Hussein Awa of Lyon. Um, would you like to see him come to the Emirates? Yeah, he's, he's, as you said, he's a player we've been linked with for a while now. I think everyone expected him to come last summer and it didn't materialise in the end. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I know the player very well now because he's been linked with us for so long. Um, and there's a chance for someone to get him at a cut price. Leon, Leon are, are able to sell at a cut price or they're forced to sell at a cut price at the moment. I think I saw something that we, whoever lands him might be able to get him for less than 20 million, which seems like an absolute bargain. Um, I'd love to see us go for him. As I said, long-term links with Arsenal. Arteta clearly likes him. Um, but obviously, I think it would be Madison or Husamawa, um or Odegaard or another player in that position. It's not going to be um, not going to be both of them. So um, it'll be interesting to see what the pecking order is. Who's who's the favourite, and perhaps Madison's the favourite. Hour is the backup. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And just sticking with midfield, just another two very quickly. Obviously. Um, Arsenal sort of were linked with Ruben Neves at the start of the window. He's supposedly going to be available for £35 million from Wolves. But I've seen something today that Man United might have taken a step ahead of Arsenal in the race for Ruben Neves. Um, would you, would Ruben Neves be a signing that would excite you? Um, I wouldn't say it'd excite me. He's obviously a solid Premier League player. I'd say he's played in a very rigid system at Wolves. Um, I'm not sure how it'd fit into the Arsenal set up. No doubt in his quality, he's a top quality player. Um, I'm not sure it would be a massive upgrade on Granit Xhaka, to be honest. Xhaka has his flaws, but he's actually been pretty good for us recently. I don't think it'd be a massive upgrade. Um, I've, Arsenal have also been linked with Locatelli. So I think Arsenal are in the market for another one in that position. So I wouldn't be surprised if they go for Neves, but... Um, but yeah, I, I I read that rumor as well. I think it was Talk Sports said United a, a ring for him as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Not signing that would massively excite me, and I think a lot of Arsenal fans feel the same. But again, another proven Premier League player that that um, that will definitely do a job. And, and something that's uh, emerged as a complete surprise to myself, and I'm sure to a lot of people in football. Um, there's been rumours doing the rounds in the last day or so that Jordan Henderson might could possibly leave Liverpool this summer. Um, talks on a uh, stalling over a contract negotiation. It emerged today that Arsenal were the front runners to sign him. How surprised were you when you saw that news? <laughs> Surely not. I mean, if they haven't learned from signing players at 30 plus on bumper contracts, uh, recently and then we do it again then we, we're we're criminal like he's not the profile of player you want to go for obviously he's been awesome for Liverpool he's been there done it Champions League Premier League great captain great player but I'm not sure he's the he's the player you want to be going after surely you want to be going after younger players that that have a future ahead of them that have a bit of resale value not someone that's just going to maybe offer you half a job for a couple of seasons and, and sap your wages and then go. So um, hopefully they are just rumours and, and nothing substantial. And just one last one, mate, before we wrap up. Um, the goalkeeping position at Arsenal, obviously, is always kind of under scrutiny. Burnt Leno possibly wanting to move on. Um, Arsenal have been linked with Ajax goalkeeper Andre Anana, but it looks like he's going to be signing for Leon for €7 million. Euros. Obviously, his ban is up in November. Um, reports today, um, TalkSport reporting this, that Arsenal have had two bids rejected for Aaron Ramsdale from Sheffield United and will be going back in for a third bid of around £30 million to try and land the keeper, obviously, who's been relegated back-to-back -back with Bournemouth and Sheffield United. Um, this strikes me as a bit of a weird one, going for Aaron Ramsdale. Yeah, I mean, Arsenal definitely need a, a backup keeper, um, Runison's um, not good enough and, and um, on his way out. I mean, whoever we get, because we haven't got European football, they're literally only going to play FA Cup, uh, League Cup, so and um, fill in for an injury because Leno is the undisputed number one. Um, Arteta made that clear. Ramsdale would be odd. I mean, we've only ever seen him really struggle with Sheffield and Bournemouth and like you say, back-to-back -back relegation obviously has a lot to do and he He's a good goalkeeper, makes saves, but 
I'd be surprised if we go for Ramsdale, especially for 30 million for a backup keeper. It would have made much more sense just to get Matt Ryan permanently, who I think we could have got a lot cheaper, who was integrated into the club as a boyhood Arsenal fan. Um, and I'm sure would have loved to have stayed. So I'm not sure why we would get a backup keeper for Ramsdale for 30 mil. It would seem very odd business. Um, but like you said, it seems quite firm. Like there's a lot of people reporting it at the moment, um, but not sure it'd be a good signing for us. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot more activity to take place at Arsenal. Already three names through the door, one big money signing in Ben White. So obviously we'll have to stay tuned and see what happens um, for the remainder of the window. But yeah, that wraps up the Arsenal transfer business for now. Webby, thanks for joining me, mate. Always a pleasure. Guys, make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and leave your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll catch you in the next one.